What's up guys, um, today I'm going to be giving you a quick tutorial on how to install announcer packs for League of Legends. So pretty much how to change the default announcer pack to something much better like Rick and Morty or even Black and Nola's announcer pack. The announcer pack I downloaded here is Black and Nola's. I'll put that post in the description. So for this video, I didn't make it. Um, I'm just showing you how, how to install it. Maybe if his instructions weren't clear. Or you're trying to install another one such as Rick and Morty. All announcer pack should be named this. It's announcer global F or female one. And it's actually really simple to install. So what you first want to do is open up Finder or if you're on Windows, um, your search tool. But right now I'm mainly showing it for a Mac. So on a Mac you go for applications you click show package contents when you right click on it and then you have your contents here the easiest way I found to do this is just copy that name and put it here in the search bar and then click on League of Legends and when you highlight that down here you have your pathing to get to there for you guys who don't want to do it this one you want to go through the pathing it's application League of Legends um, Contents, LOL Rads, Projects, LOL, LOL Game Client, Manage Files, point two one seven Data, Sounds, WW, or WW, WYs, VO, ENUS, Shared, and then here it is. But I think it's just simple to search it and then click on Shared. So after you get here, this is the announcer pack the game already has. What you want to do is change the last um, three. I think you can put JPEG. I just put PNG. And then you click use P um, PNG. The reason you do that is that way when you don't move it there, this doesn't pop up. So I just change it to P. Um, where is the rename? Put a PNG. Use PNG. If you want to switch that back, uh, what you can do is press get info and then right here at the very end, just take off the PNG and put WPK. That's if you want the original announcer pack back. I always keep it here because, you know, it's, it's nice to just keep the original there if you get tired of the new one or you want to switch it. So next, all you have to do is move this one here. So this is the new announcer pack, which I will show a little clip on later on. I'll jump to it. And that's pretty much all you have to do. Now you're just set. All you have to do is close it and then op open up your client. You cannot have your client while you're open while, you, while you're doing this because it will just leave the old announcer pack. It will only work after you close your client. Um, if, if, if everything worked out, you should have a new voice telling you when the minions are spawning, when whoever gets first blood, and so forth. Um, if for some reason you mess it up, just delete everything in that folder, and then open up your client. And then it should say, um, uh, like, corrupted files or something. Um, I don't feel like showing it right now. But it should say... Um, the client has detected corrupted files and it will usually fix itself. It's only like 0.5 megabytes, so it shouldn't it shouldn't take long to fix. It's not like you're doing a whole patch repair. And that's pretty much it. That's how you change your announcer pack. Twisted tree line up in this motherfucker. Minions have spawned. Howling Abyss up in this motherfucker. Minions have spawned. Summoner's Rift up in this motherfucker. All right, we got 30 seconds until minions spawn. Minions have spawned. Thanks for. Thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'll put the, the um, description or the link to the original announcer pack in the video. I hope this helped you guys check out my other videos. Thanks so much. See you guys.